This year, the American Dialect Society named the singular there the word of the year. A lot of people thought that was addressing the number problem between singular noun and plural antecedent. But in fact, what the American Dialect Society was talking about was the use of they as a singular noun in place of he or she for people who are transgender or who identify variously as agender, androgyne, pangender, gender fluid, gender queer. If somebody works in a bagel store, he or she comes in late to work and he or she is gender fluid and they arrive at work, you would say they, well, what would you say? Would you say they is here or they are here? Maybe it will all come down to context as most things usually do. The one that seems to be vying with they is Z, derived loosely from the German pronoun Z, meaning plural, you or they. There is a whole table of gender neutral pronouns, for instance. Well, they would remain they, them, their, theirs, themselves. Z would be Z, Zim, Zir, Zirs, Zirself. And there's a lot of other variants, including he and she. So basically, this is in flux, and we'll see what happens. But for now, as your comma queen, I think you should call people what they want to be called, period. Thank you.